We're here at Ushmal. You can see these beautiful buildings be behind us here. This is uh, part of our heritage. How many of our people think, gee, look, look, look at the genius. Look at the beauty, the elegance. Look at the fantastic idea of doing this. How many of our kids know about anything like this? Can, can they think that they could have been the, the architects and engineers to all of this? This is Ushmal, one of the most beautiful of the Mayan sites. And we're here uh, to share with you the beauty of all of this. It kind of looks a little bit like a park, uh, beautiful greenery around here. Uh, and what you're looking at behind us is only part of it. We're going we're gonna to do another lecture at a different part of uh, th this location, this sacred location. And um, we're hoping that some of you will come and take a look at this. Uh, we're only here like for one day. We're limited on our budget. We're limited on our time. But we're going we're gonna to see this today. We've already seen uh, Tulum which hopefully you'll get a chance to see, which was a port. It's such a beautiful site. Uh, we, we were only able to be there like half the day. We then went to Cova, uh, which is more of a foresty area. And again, it's kind of, you want to be there for days on end. And uh, yesterday we went to Ekbalam, and uh, that was another beautiful side. I mean, each one of them has something unique to it. Because uh, in reality, we we actually started with a place called El, El Meco, which is just north of Cancun. And uh, that in itself had a, a, a beauty. Um, you can sense it from a small site like El Meco to, to a huge site like what is Ushmal. And say, like, man, we're a wonderful people. We're people of genius. We're a scientific people. We're a creative people. We're a people of accomplishments. We're a people connected to our creator and to the universe. We're a people that have great potential. But look around you. Look in the mirror. What do we have? We got gangs and crimes. We're, we're colonized people. We're an ignorant people. We're a people that are dishonored, we don't have our dignity, uh, we speak in, in foolishness, we, we think in foolishness, and more importantly, we're not thinkers because we're not educated on thinking about the more profound things. We're thinking about sports and we're thinking about uh, uh, all sorts of idiocies, idi idiotic ideas uh, that are Eurocentric and racist against our own people that are genocidal against our people. Uh, obviously our people were thinkers. Take a look at these buildings. Take a look at the other videos that we've done. This is, this is uh, the mind of, of a very brilliant people. And that's only if you're just looking at the architecture. But then there's also the issue of what's behind the people who created all this. Why did they pick this site? Why did we pick this site? That's why we gotta move our, ourselves away from this them and, uh, and 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 embrace it. This is us. This is not the Mayans. This is us. When we show you a site of uh, of the Mexica or or of the Purépecha or, or Tajin or whatever other site, this is us collectively as Nicantlaca, as a people of Semanawak. And that's something we have to pound into our heads uh, beyond the psychological damage that has been done to us, beyond the ongoing colonization and beyond the, the genocide that is going on. We have to think beyond the limitations that have been put on us by this gang culture that have been put on to us by capitalism or by the religions of, of the Europeans that have uh, made us, instead of a moral people, an immoral people, uh, and, and stop thinking of ourselves as Mexicans or American citizens or Peruvians or Colombians or 
Bolivians and, and think of ourselves as Nican Flaca of Semanahuac, of this continent, and that we are the owners of, of the land collectively, of the resources, of the past, of the future of our people. That's who we are. But you can't just say it. You have to do something about it. You have to say that this is our continent, that this is part of our heritage, and you, you have to know it, not, not believe it. You have to know that, know it in your heart that this is, this is ours. And w with more of us waking up to this reality and taking actions, it's not about you're going to do some art or you're going to sing some song. It's about doing some work in organizing and protesting and confronting and most importantly, confronting that person that's in the mirror. Because that's your number one enemy. That colonized person, that ignorant person, or that coward, or that person who just doesn't have the imagination. You, that can be changed. But you want, you got to want to change. And that's part of the invitation that we're making. Because all of us at one point were ignorant. I was ignorant. Nariolo was ignorant at one point. And we, we took the steps to get the knowledge and to get the courage and to go out and, and confront, uh, like I said, first of all, ourselves, and then to confront the evils of colonialism, the evils of the treasons that are going on against our people, and the evils of white supremacy, the evils of colonialism, the evils of the genocide, which is the destruction of us as a people. So now I'd like to pass it over uh, to Naliolo so he can talk a little bit about uh, the impressions he's had about some of the places that we've been to. Um, well, this is my, um, I guess, our, our fourth archaeological uh, visit to, to here in the uh, uh, Mayan area. And um, as you will see in the photographs, images, uh, Uxmal is, is something to behold. It's something, uh, um, I guess, beyond remarkable. Something that you, you, you would not... Uh, appreciate it through photographs or even video. I mean, the, the, obviously the images are there, but you gotta be, you gotta be here. You gotta come and visit, and and not just visit as a, as a, more like a, an intellectual level. Visit more like in in a connect in a connecting level. Like this is our past. This is our our what we should uh, study. This is what we should uh, bring. Uh, what, what, we call the uh, you know pilgrimages. Uh, you know we should we should uh, uh, make it and where our people in masses come and visit, children come and visit, make it a a, a, um, a life, uh, um, something like a navigation where where you come and visit one of the sites and this Ushmal being one of them. Um, my impression when I first uh, walked in here is it's it's something. Um, uh, unbelievable! Something that's gonna, that's gonna sit with me in my heart for forever. I mean, the beauty, the the genius of our ancestors is it's something to to be. You can't finish saying this. I mean, you say millions of times and millions of times, and it's it's never never ending. Our people, our people were a, a great people, and this is what what um, it's not it's not um, related to our people. This is not known by our people. Even even our people here. I mean, this is. If you look around, I, I see most mostly white faces, and maybe it's a few faces, but those are more like uh, the exception of our people. You know, this this should be um, filled with with our Nicantalaka faces, knowing the greatness of our ancestors. And and um, the sad thing is, I we always use the example of um, our people tend to to go more with visiting Europe and and even some some of our people make up pilgrimages or, or visits to 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 the so-called Holy Land and and getting in touch with with uh, Israel is you know nothing nothing related to our history I mean uh, as we know a lot of a lot of Jews uh, uh, connect themselves to the Wailing Wall and you know this archaeological site there and that if you think about it that's really nothing compared to what we have this is massive in a massive scale we have one of the most beautiful uh, civilizations created by our ancestors, created by us, and yet we don't know that. And um, for me, and I, I know for Olin and, and, and for Ocelo that's recording it, it this, is, this is something very sacred to us, very, very dear for us, and, and this is something that, that we want to share 
is something that we want to relate to our people. It's basically saying, wake up, embrace who you are, acknowledge this, this history, acknowledge our, our, our ancestry, acknowledge that we were great people and we could, be, we could get out of the, the ignorance that we're in now. And um, it's, I, I can't, I can't dis seriously describe this in, in, in words. It's, it's just unbelievable. And that's why we come out here and, and, and do these videos and do these presentations because we want to make uh, our people obsessed once more with knowledge and, and history and, and, and come back to, 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 our, to our heritage, to, to, to our, our, the, our beauty of our Nicantlaca civilizations. Yeah. yeah, especially that last part that you're talking about, uh, the history uh, the, and all that identity. Because it doesn't do us any good to come here as tourists and look around and say, oh, how pretty, or that's really beautiful, and all that, without connecting it to it, w without saying, this is part of what we're going to plan for our future, this kind of beauty. We're going to start using uh, the genius of our people, the, the creativity of our people, the, the potential courage of our people to plan for a future of this kind of beauty instead of... You know what's happening to to our people right now. I think we have to be honest about the the monstrosity that we're in right now. But this is to help you in your vision of saying what we can become. Because see, our our ancestors have proven to us what we are capable of. This is part of what we are capable of. And the other sites that that you'll see, that's part of what we're capable of. That's the kind of human beings we really are. The Nicantalaka people who have created these wonderful structures, this wonderful city, and this great civilization, one of many great civilizations that we have created as a, the people of Semanawak, the Nicantalaka.